Let's get to some news just breaking into us in the last couple of minutes. Groups of voters now in two more states, in both Illinois and Massachusetts, are now filing motions to try to get former President Trump off their 2024 primary ballots. NBC's Ryan Riley is following this for us. This is part of a larger issue as it relates to ballot access for former President Trump, most notably in the state of Colorado, where he is now asking the Supreme Court to essentially get him back on that ballot. What do we know about what's happening in Illinois and Massachusetts? Because right now it seems to be groups of voters, right? It is not um, like judges or whatever. How much teeth does this have? Yeah, right. So everyone's getting in on this now. Uh, they're just all petitioning all these various states, so states who haven't had these these before. Groups of voters are getting behind this. Essentially, what you have here is a liberal organization that is organizing groups of voters in this various state, in these various states right now, Massachusetts and Illinois, uh, to file with their local boards to file these petitions and say that Donald Trump is ineligible because he engaged in insurrection, as the Fourteenth Amendment sort of lays out. And obviously, we're sort of in uncharted territory here. But ultimately, all this is going to make its way up to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court obviously is going to be handling a lot of these issues as we go into 2026. It's essentially, you know, campaign reporters might want to start camping out outside of SCOTUS because we're really going to have all of these cases that are ultimately uh, making their mm. way to the Supreme Court. And that's where so many of these issues of the 2024 election are going to be decided. Any timeline on when we think we might get any resolution on these particular incidences? Not yet, but I mean, you know, obviously the, the Supreme Court is sort of looming over all of this, and I think yeah, that's, that's right. going to lead to where how these other cases are handled. But you know, obviously, Trump states have to start printing their ballots soon. So even if you ha don't have an election for a few months, you're going to actually have to print your ballots ahead of time. You have to mail them out uh, to voters overseas, for example, military voters. So there are a lot of impending deadlines coming, and you know, we're really in the thick of this already. We're in 2024 now. This is uh, no longer something that we can sort of put uh, off to the side. We are in an election year now. Any response I should ask from the Trump campaign on this? I know that they've responded, of course, to the other issues in Colorado and Maine, et cetera. It just broke, so we haven't had anything uh, from the Trump folks here. But, you know, they have to respond to all these petitions as well, right? So they have to build all these up. I think, obviously, they're sort of focusing all of their efforts right now um, on that Colorado case. Uh, but, you know, there are a number of states where this is where this is piling up. But you also have states who have rejected this. And it, it differs in how these are handled in various states. So you have to sort of do this this quick, you know, uh, quick Googling and sort of uh, catching up very quickly to how these are handled individually. Because in some states, you have a situation where it's the secretary of state who makes that decision. In some states, there's a board of individuals. And then, you know, obviously, the Colorado case is a different case where the Colorado Supreme Court ultimately decided this. And that litigation progressed a lot further um, than it has, where they're just sort of kicking this off uh, from the beginning. But what they want to do is remove Donald Trump uh, from the Republican uh, primary ballot initially here. And obviously, you know, they would obviously want to not have him on the general election ballot as well. Yeah, Trump's attorneys have argued that they believe this would be disenfranchisement for those voters. We'll see. It's up to the justices, at least for Colorado at this point. Ryan Riley, thank you so much for scrambling to a camera with that new reporting. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.